December 26, Detention Center, Vista Zoo. M Maya? Hey, Nick, it's you! Great. Now I am finding you in Detention Center once again. Just our good old times. I'm glad Mr. Edgeard made it for the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why did you do that anyway? I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Well, I do have to say, Maya, that you actually helped us quite a lot, so we do have to thank you for this. But I won't lie when I say that I was also worried about you. I'm oh, sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, well... No need to be sad about this, man. Let's let's talk about some stuff. Let's do some questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. The thing is, she was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let you go after questioning. <laughs> oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? Uh. Why? <laughs> How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Oh, great. Now we're also gonna have to pay for this? Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Oh, boy. This contempt of court thing is actually pretty serious. Well, as I can, as I can definitely imagine that it would be really, really serious for an attorney's reputation and all that, not only is this... Not only would this be a bad image for yourself as an attorney, but you also get get to have... You know, you're also gonna have to pay for that. Any luck with Mia? No, no. no I cannot get food around at all. I tried. I really didn't. You know, I'm, I'm really starting to question this. I... Is it really that you didn't train that much lately that you wouldn't be able to touch her? Or is Mia doing this intentionally? I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Mm, she sounds like she's. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever again ever see my sister again. Hey now, don't be silly. Of course you're gonna have, Of course you're gonna see her. Oh. In a spirit in a spirit medium way, of course you're of course you will. But for right now, yeah, I do have to question what is with Mia? I mean isn't this like a two-way thing as well? That not only is is Maya working at trying to contact Mia, but Mia herself is should try as well. Or I, I don't know. I don't know how the spirit medium thing works. I only tried to do some ghost forming in the past, but that that surely didn't work so well. So, well, I'll see you later, Maya. For right now, I guess we're gonna have to work our... I guess we're gonna have to work by ourselves, Nick. Sure is quiet here when nobody around. Right. I have to get my out of that detention cell soon. Hmm. But first things first. We cannot go without uh, watering Charlie. Mia's favorite plant. His name is Charlie. All right, let's see. Yeah, there you go. That is pretty good, Maya. That is really, really good. Let's see. What is the bellboy doing? Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can sell the bellboy. Getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
And Maya brought in a poster of the Steel Samurai the other day. We had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. Alright. Man. That bellboy is still going strong with that murder thing. I mean, my god. Let's go to the criminal affairs. See what Gumshoe has to say. The police department. Criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe is not here. Gumshoe is at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He is alive. He is alive. Wired that one. Got into a fight with Chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? Oh! Uh, I bet he wouldn't help them build a case against Wedgeworth. Ugh. Gumshoe. Gumshoe, 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 Gumshoe. What are you doing? Alright, so let's go to Grossberg, maybe? See if he's actually here? See if I can accuse him of even more sexual affairs? Apparently Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Ow. Oh. Uh, he, he knew that I was gonna come back today, so he's hiding. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need anything. Uh, I guess... Uh, well, it will pretty much suck if, uh, if we actually need Grossberg's help in some case. But, uh, I guess so. Let's go to Gord Lake Angels once again and investigate some more. See if I can find Gumshoe. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but these cops are still around in the park. Uh, I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Alright. The public beach. I haven't seen Lenny around today at all. Probably all paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Kianse. Man, nobody's around here. Maybe... Maybe Lada Heart is here. Ah, Gumshoe! Hey, the Tech Gumshoe! Hey, pal. The trial today... Uh, um... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. Gumshoe, are you being a tsundere here, or what? I mean, of course, I... I mean, we're going against Manfred von Karma. And he hasn't lost a case in 40 years. I seriously doubt that there are that many defense attorneys who would have even who would have even resisted like one day, who would have survived one day in comparison to Phoenix. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know. No. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. I'm just Eh, uh, thanks. Alright, well let's uh let's talk about Let's talk about Edgeworth. Alright, um I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard of anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a lawyer. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. That incident? The... the DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Huh. Is that so? Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. He can see it in his eyes. Hmm. Poor Eiji. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. No? Huh? She is not out on bail yet. She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Yeah, that's true. If it weren't for her, then that would have been the end for us. We've... 
The trial would have ended with the guilty verdict on Edgeworth, and he would have been sent to jail. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Aww. Edgeworth. He was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Is that so? R really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? Oh, of course, I... I can totally see Edgeworth being the tsundere type as, <laughs> as well. <laughs> but, huh. That is, that is still a surprise. I was very grateful for what she did, you know. Yeah, I can definitely imagine. About tomorrow's trial, though! Um, Detective Gunshum? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Oh. You mean the second witness? Another witness? Yeah, I mean... It has been mentioned that there was another witness that actually testified before Lot of Heart. But... Apparently, there was some sort of axe, like, there was, there was some sort of incident that cancelled the first witness's testimony, and Lara Hart ended up being the first witness in the trial, so I don't know, is it the same? Alright, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. And that's that. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Why? Right. <laughs> well, you know... I mean, should we try and get the information out of him? <laughs> it just... I don't know. I'm going to head back to the station. I mean, why why is it a, why is it a secret information that we should know? I mean, it would help us tremendously if we know. I'll get the report on mine and get her out of there as soon as I can. All right. Well, you do that, Gamshu. Thank you. Oh wait. Uh, um, I was wondering how much is Bill going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's actually a... That is actually a surprise, too. He is the one that is... That is gonna pay for what Maya did. What? Edward? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Yeah, he did say that. He's so grateful that he is gonna get... He's gonna be the one to pay. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? I won't. We won't. Hmm. Yeah. And here I was thinking that maybe we'll get some useful information out of Gunshu when it comes to how to, you know, when it comes to how we should tackle Manfred tomorrow. It sucks, to be honest. And I'm saying that because, well, I actually had him plan to to come back as a mage for the second job, but given the fact that we're talking about Manfred von Karma, about Manfred von Boopyhead, that may not happen. I have, I'm gonna have to be serious about it, so... No mage nobi for this case, sadly. No way that will happen. Sadly. Hmm... Maybe I can get Edward to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> you wish. No way in hell is it gonna do that. <laughs> Especially for someone like you. Um... I guess so. Hmm... Can we investigate some more stuff? I mean, since... Since Lot of Heart isn't here, might as well just... Check inside the car and see what else she has. I don't think Lada takes very good care of her SUV. It's covered with dents. I don't believe anyone would drive their car down here. 
I guess so. What else do we have over here? Do we have some clues over here? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp on in this cold. We are talking about Lord of Heart after all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lada's camera is staring out at the lake, as usual. Even a novice like me can tell that camera must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. I mean, yeah, I mean... She's probably still getting questioned, like, right now as we speak. And all this equipment is right over here. Ready to get stolen. I would take a much better care of, the, of this sort of stuff. If I were her. Alright, well, let's see about... I don't know, maybe... Maybe somebody is here? December 26th, boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Hmm. Not that, many, not that many people that we can talk to, to be quite honest. A small boat rental. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Hmm. I know that I... Oops. Hmm, this isn't good. Hold on a, hold on a second. There you go. Let me just examine the boats. I know that we did examine the boats at some point, but there are some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently the police took any, away the actual boat that was used that night. Oh, they actually took the, the boat as well. Okay, well, yeah, it makes sense. Indeed, there is space for one more boat at the dock. Hmm. Back at their detention center. Hey Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I feel to go. Alright. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? I got was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Well, thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted the bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. M Mr. Edward did that? I had to make it up to him. You got to win this case, Nick. That we shall definitely do, Mal. Okay, well, before we leave together... Let me ask you about, like, any ideas about this case. Maybe you have some ideas. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm... You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. <laughs> um... I would... I would tell you to not get used to this, Maya, but... You know, this is our first adventure together in the many adventures that we're gonna have in the future. And you have been in, deten in detention, like, two times by now, so... <laughs> I I'm saying... Uh, I meant to have you noticed anything about the case. Well, not much more than that, no. no she's probably still upset about me, huh? I should leave her alone. Mm. Okay, well, any thoughts about what we should do? What do you think we should do next? We're kind of looking in the clues department. You could go to the park and look for Gertie. I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as a bet as any. Yeah, well... I did check the park! There was like nobody there <laughs> for, for us to interrogate. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure! Alright. Well, now that we have Maya with us, we can go back to the park and, you know, uh, trigger some more moments. So, yeah, let's go back to Gordon Lake. There ain't any cops around today, aren't there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Oh, hey, Lola's here, too. Hey! Hey, it's Lola! Y'all really did it today! But, 
What, do we, what did we do now? Uh, I'm not complaining. See, I did a lot of thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you think that participating in a in a in a trial just like that is funsies? <laughs> I mean, granted, most of the trials that we have been in so far have been a, have been complete clown fests and all that. But outside of that, it's pretty damn serious. <laughs> But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lara. So, you see, I want to make it up to you. Make it up? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, she did... She did a lot of the things that Karma wanted. So, now she's gonna try and help us. Instead. I mean, Manfred von Karma is a big jerk. Who would, who would even help him? So, can you tell us about some stuff? Can you tell us the truth this time? Um, the heart. Uh, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What?! <laughs> that phone karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. But what information? Now I get into the heart of it! See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little... exchange. It exchange? Um... I thought this was to make it up to us? Right! I propose a little exchange, to make it up to you. So, you want something in return as well? What?! Information don't come cheap, my friend! Uh, hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what do you be? We gonna deal or not? Well, it kinda depends. What, what do you want? If it's money, then... I don't think you really can do that sort of stuff with an attorney. But then again, we're talking about Phoenix over here. Of course, we're gonna, we're gonna have to pay as well, if we need to. Because Nick is never taken seriously in these cases. Well, what do we think? What do we do, Nick? Well, it's not that we have much of a choice now, do we? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, well, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Okay, thank you, Lada. Huh? The only thing I exchange for information is... Information! Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gord. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. G Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not, might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh. Oh, Gordy. Oh, oh, joy. Now we are on the lookout for a monster. The life of an attorney. I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? You all come to me first. Got it? Uh, okay. Right, see y'all later! Well, you heard her, Nick. It's time to gather some information. Or, hopefully, we may be able to catch Gordy as well. We just need a boat, a fishing rod, some spears, go all Resident Evil 4 on Gordy's ass, and we're gonna be good to go. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting! Uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do! What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick! Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for make-believe monster? Well, first step would be to actually believe that Gordy exists. Maybe we can find a monster miss specialist? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, 
Grossberg? <laughs> Would he be a specialist in this sort of stuff? I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody in the park would know? Uh, okay, well, let's go to... Oh, hey! There's... There's a giant steel samurai there. That wasn't there before. I believe. Who was that? The, the steel samurai, Nick! You! Maya! Hey! Hello there, Larry! Uh, Larry? What the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Kiyansu's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here. You would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow! That's very impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished. And that show's finished now, so she got it for free. Alright. Okay, Larry, well, we are still investigating Edgeworth's in this innocence over here, so maybe you have some new information for us? Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes! He acts like a little boy. A little boy is a little too much. He's acting like a baby. He just curls up on the floor, sucking his thumb, too. It's quite bad. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred to schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Alright. When the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hmm. About the big samurai. Hey Larry! Are you a fan of Steel Samurai 2? Hey Larry. What was that big uh, thing up there before? Big thing? Don't you recognize it, Nick? It's the Steel Samurai! Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. The compressor? Compressor? Yeah, it's not literally really by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. A while ago when? No. And here I thought you inflated it by yourself. <laughs> Imagine that. How many hours it would take? Well, I do have to thank you, Larry. Let's, uh, let's examine some stuff here. Hmm. Let me examine this first. Doesn't that still somewhere look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good. I guess it's good for advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. Hey, but I'm, 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 I'm a connoisseur too. I, okay, I'm lying to myself. I, I am a. I am a light fan of it. Like, I like it, but it's not that I occupy my time with Steel Samurai that much, but I still enjoy it. Yeah, Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> yeah, they are. Like, the power of fandom for CDs. Like, the passion that some fans can have. <laughs> I do speak from experience. Um. Let me see about some stuff. I can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls the product the original first wins. Why did you add world fam- Well, why didn't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> okay, well, hmm.
<laughs> All right. I guess so. Well, is there anything else that I can check? I mean, where's the compressor? Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, let's see about the boat rental shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Oh, well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. Mm, I get it. Hmm. It always seems odd coming here. I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling that something happened here as well. Near the boat rentals. Alright, well, what about... Actually, hold on a second. Uh, Larry, are you... Do you know any specialist in monster hunting and all? Or do you know somebody who would have quite a lot of information on Gordy, the monster? Yeah, hey, that's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I can cook him. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably, probably saw something else that they just thought was gory. Well, I'll keep selling summary dogs until the truth's out. Mm, I see. Okay, well, in that case, let's see if I can find somebody else that would have a lot more information on Gordy, maybe. 